you've been a long time, you've been uh, around concerning cannabis. How do you look upon the things that are happening at the moment around the world in general? In general, I find it very exciting, mostly very exciting. And why do you think it's so exciting? What is Because a movement has started uh, which is spreading around the world and this I remember the the end of the 70s when we really believed that cannabis prohibition was coming to an end and in the end it was very much the opposite it went back into the war on drugs in a big way and now finally I am going to see it ha happen not the way we would have hoped for exactly because you, you're already saying what, what, what do you think is wrong with the moment with the things that are happening in your from, from your point of view what's the threat or what's the danger it's not so much a case of what is wrong with what what's happening but how would we like it in an ideal world and in an ideal world we would want to have no rules or regulations regarding cannabis like we have no rules or regulations about growing tomatoes and eating them or selling them yeah. that would be ideal yeah but we can't do that when we've had prohibition we inherited a a messy state of affair and it's hard to get out of it cleanly yeah. and, and, and what do you think of, of, of the people if you for example if you go to Holland you see elderly people now walking around with oil and talking about cannabis oil as if it's the normal most normal thing in the world because they see it works yeah. it's, it seems to be helping with so many health issues that it's hard to believe but you have to remember that the body produces cannabis-like substance, which has, are called cannabinoid, uh, endocannabinoid, when they're produced by the body. And the endocannabinoid system deals with many, many functions in the body, which is why cannabis can be effective for so many health issues. Yeah. Research was prohibited for many years. Yeah which allowed the government to say that it was not useful. And in France, there's still a battle going on. I know Bertrand, for example, is he's also fighting for, for the, the right to use can, medicinal cannabis. But how is the situation at the moment in France? Well, the new president has asked for, for uh, a fine to for, how do you say, not punishment, but instead of having to go to court that you get a fine for smoking or owning small amounts of cannabis, which is already a, a big step forward. Yeah. So even in France there is hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, you've, 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 you've been traveling, you've been living in Canada, for example, you've, you've been writing many books. What do you think uh, will be after all this experience and all the knowledge you have? What is your main use? Cannabis? What I like to tell people when I get a chance is that 40, for 45 years now, weed has been a friend and an ally to me. And it, it's helped me in many ways. And. Uh, and I like to tell people that it connects me with my intuition, for instance. And I believe this is really very important because your intuition is your inner self telling you that you're on the right path. If you look around, for example, people you knew, for example, the, 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 the famous people like, like uh, Jack Harris and so on, you, you also met these people. What, what is the biggest task if you want to succeed in the cannabis industry? Well, more and more I, I believe that the most important thing I can do is tell people about my own experience. Because that's the only thing I'm, I, I can talk about better than other people. Mm. And I believe that science is overdone because scientific results are bound to become outdated and replaced by new scientific da data. So I turn away from science and I turn towards subjective experience, telling people what you know because it's your experience. And you see this more happening that people are 
taking their control in their own hands with the knowledge you give them, for example? I think one of the things I find exciting about this period is that I see a general raising, a rising of, or opening of consciousness. I see it doesn't particularly relate to weed, but in general I see people more ready to open their mind. Well, you don't expect that with everything going on in the world with, uh, with Trump and other right-wing whatever. But, but every, everything happens to, in the world and it's a case of focusing. You have all multiple realities happening at the same time and you want to choose which reality you, you're focusing on and which reality you are part of. That's very true. Yeah. And your, rea your reality, um, if you see today, if you go outside and you see all these people, your reality, how can you, how would you describe your reality? My reality is where I am cool and other people are cool as well. And I believe more and more in doing only what is easily done. Because when you are centered and aligned, things happen almost magically. And if you have to struggle, to me it, it means you're not aligned and you're not centered, you're not in the right place at the right moment. Are there any questions from the, from the audience? Someone would like to know some from Miska who... Is there anything known about uh, plans of uh, new, new President Macron? And the, the question that I wanted to ask first is, you, as a French citizen, you probably have contacts in Canada. Can you tell us about uh, what you know about, is it going in the right direction there, or is it going too slow, or...? I'm not good at anything connected with political questions. Mm. But certainly, it's one of the, especially on the West Coast, which is the part that is dearest to my heart, there is a, it's very much ahead of its time, I would say, globally and as far as marijuana as well. I like, I like to go to British Columbia on, on the West Coast every year because it's, it's like a lab for the future. Is there something you want to add and then we stop because it's kind of warm here? Keep making marijuana an ally and a friend. And to do that, my personal belief is that it's good I would say something that might be shocking to, to most Dutch people. I would say that it's good to s separate tobacco and weed. If you smoke tobacco, smoke tobacco. If you smoke weed, smoke weed. Have some tobacco in one hand and weed in the other. So that you know when you want to smoke tobacco and when you want to smoke weed rather than have them together. That's one thing I would say. Okay. I also talking from about what I like. I like not to smoke every day and to really smoke when I smoke, so I really feel it. Thank you very much, Mishka. And enjoy today. Thank you. Thank Mishka. You.